to read the same page in my book, now only to be interrupted by the incessant clutter that seems to be emanating from your cellar. I quite understand that an inventor is entitled to do his inventing in the privacy of his own home, but the banging, popping, creaking and odd explosion really must stop. Oh, but what's that livestock? Honestly, Wallace. This has always been a respectable street. What number, please? Morning, private. Eddie's private Eddie's. I'm sure by now you've received intelligence about the morale raising ops this weekend. Should be a jolly old time. Like when Ensa used to come and rouse the troops, reminded the squaddies what they were fighting for. I remember being stationed in Algeria and the association organized a whole day of fanfare. Unbelievable! There was Fatima the Snake Charmer, the ever-popular monkey toss competition, even a couscous eating contest. Which reminds me, I expect you to be at the fair when I display my digestive prowess. <laughs> the pie-eating contest, Private. You must have seen the sign-up sheet in town. 
Nobody will challenge the great major, though. I shall be uncontested. They don't call me Cool Hand Crumb for nothing, you know. Those are my biscuits, Trident. And very delicious they are, too. Can't share them with you, though. For optimal nutritional efficiency, today's soldiers must stick to their rations. So, no wiki wikis for you, I'm afraid. Oh, tremendous flavor. Hello, Gromit lad. How's Mr. Wallace? Have you heard about the fundraiser? I've never been to a proper town fair before. Is certainly a grand day for it. Anything I can do for you? Town's a buzz with the fundraiser this weekend, isn't it? About time somebody did something to build a new dog shelter. Ooh, I've had run-ins with all sorts of strays of late. Terriers, spaniels, mutts, even an Irish wolfhound. Should have seen the size of him when he went for me pork scratchings on top shelf. Sent me tumbling backwards and brought me awning crashing down. Ooh, I gave him what for and no mistake. Ah, uh, you mean you opened your gob and poor brute took fright. Ooh, mind your business and quit interrupting. This is why you haven't got any friends and spend all day talking to the birds. <laughs> I'm just in need of some intelligent company. Anyway, it's high time town got together to put the shelter back up. Wouldn't you say, Chuck? Looking forward to this weekend's fair. Should be a riot. And all for a good cause to boot. So long, private. Ah, yes, as I said before, I'm unopposed. They fear me, private, just like those curs in the desert. Wait until they see me in front of a tower of pies. They'll shake in their boots with shock and awe. Carry on, soldier. Oh, 
all that hard work fouled up by a few rogue whippets. What's this? Oh, I'm not one for pie-eating contests, Gromit. Someone with an even larger appetite than mine would be interested in that. out? This mangy whippet is, is ravaging my roses. Came hurtling out of your master's house with some sort of bone in its mouth. Hmm, feeding the strays really is the last straw. Now he's gone underground and Lord knows what he's doing to my roots. And where's Wallace when I need him? Are there no real men left in this world to protect a woman's property? Don't just stand there. Do something. You're a dog. Can't you reason with him? That's where the dastardly digger went underground. Look at my petunias. Pulverized. Hello, Gromit lad. How's Mr. Wallace? What's this? A pie-eating contest? Crikey, don't know about that. Trying to keep trim these days. Afraid I'll have to pass on the pies. Thank you, Gromit. Hello, hello. Ah, yes. The pie-eating contest. Can't enter myself, I'm afraid. Not while I'm on duty. Stuffing me face with meat pies wouldn't be prudent for an officer of the law. What you got there, Chuck? A pie-eating contest? Well, isn't that festive? Me? Oh, I don't know about that. I, I do love the odd meat pie, but a scoffing contest? That wouldn't be ladylike, would it? <laughs> You've trouble enough appearing ladylike without a meat pie in your gob. Oh, do I? Tell that to Horseman. He seemed quite taken with me this morning. It's only because he's got an eye defect. Oh, shut up, you curmudgeonly codger. You know what, Chuck? I will sign up for the contest. I think it's a splendid idea. And I plan on winning. In a most ladylike fashion, naturally. Let's see. Oh, just me and the Major, is it? Hmm. He's no match for Winnie Gabberly. There you go, Gromit. I expect you to attend my victory party. Ah, 
Ah, yes, the pie-eating contest. Nobody's signed up yet to take on the mighty Major Crumb. Pity, I'd love to meet another man. Toe to toe on the field of battle, mano a mano, feasting to the death until the best man wins. Edwina? She thinks she can out-eat the likes of me? Ho ho ho! That's a good one, Private. I'd love to see her staring down the barrel of a ketchup bottle. There's just no way she can win. Impossible. She could never. <laughs> These blinking biscuits. I've been munching on them all day. They're going to fill me up. Private! Attention! Get rid of these vile things! I've got to prepare for battle! My guts must be ready for all the pie I can throw at them if I'm going to crush that woman! She's challenged the wrong man! Battle stations! Yeah.